right side. I won't accidentally use two first stage sprays this time. Head is up here somewhere. Oh man, there he comes. Yep, he loves charging at me. I'll run to the other side so it's easy for you to snipe. Of course, ammo. I'm his main goal right now, so I'm just shooting the shoots. Stupid zombie. Wow. That only hurts a little bit more than I expected. No, no, not this! Someone got me out a little bit early. You're welcome. Thank you. Aid unfortunately doesn't be much of help and Simmons is completely and totally focused on me. With Kung Fu Leon kicking action! How much did I have this time? There's a green herb over here, something like that. Yeah, he's got a big ol' arm thing going on. Arm is stay don't hit me with it. Dang. And that has actually oh. got focused on Ada. Ow! Zombies. I'm literally shooting him in the butt. Nor as I got him. I think of this shotgun which I have a bajillion shots for and start shooting them. Oh. How does he auto grab me when you that I weren't even fully transformed you? Oh god, that's your own red. Alright, time to switch off to this then. Oh, it's an act time. Stay longer, but I've got to run. I've left you a little parting gift on the roof. See you down the road, Leon. Ada! What are you waiting for? Go after her. No. We're sticking together.
Here's our ticket out of here. If we can get to it. any of them quit none of them quit they We're never quit get what's coming to you Simmons sure it's kind of their job or something <laughs> so you know, I'm trying to get all this and I'm pretty much out of ammo for everything there's some ammo right down back there so. let's do something about it I mean, I've been clever arsenal here. Now, go! Apparently he's tasty. Very delicious as zombies. Alright, off to the rooftops. Come on, you really have to ask so yourself that, Elena? <laughs> yes. There's those two boxes over there. Let's go get them. Oh, man. Wait, three? three. It's three. We moved up in the world from two to three. I know. Everything's just gone so much better because of that. There's the helicopter. That helicopter. Yeah. And Thanks, Elena. All right. Heading their right stat now. Obviously. It's only like two sky, uh, skyscrapers away, that'll be like nothing. No kidding. Ah, uh, they have a game that I thought we were supposed to do. <laughs> Alright. We're supposed to just have this, apparently. Pushing? Oh, I knew it. Oh, oh no, I'm throwing you up. I have fun up there. Up you go. Wee. Oh man, he's turned into a big old fly? Giant fly. Leon! I'm alright. Just get me out of here. Got it. Alright, I'm working on that then. I'll keep him off of me. After the reload this guy. Okay. Take care of these zombies here first. Get out of here, you bastards. I got stuff to do. Next thing we got Zella villain. I'm a little bit grosser. Kind of. I think that's everything. Damn it. Zombies, get out of here. It's blowing chunks off over what here. What are you doing? It's working. I'll just play that one hacking game again. Helena the Hacker, back at it. Oh boy, her pro hacking skills are always appreciated. I know. I'm just keeping the fly it's off. Only for me. her to realize her dream. She's she's slowly becoming better than Hunnigan. <laughs> oh, the giant fly is flying. Oh. Oh dear. You know what's going on? There's a giant fly attached to you! What do you think is going on? There's this giant fly literally looking right at you. Ow. God damn it. Kind of some inner close personal time shooting this thing's eyeballs. I don't know, don't. I'm running out of ammo with everything, type of shotgun. How's the hacking going along? Uh, but only lets me do it every so often. Now say this. Mothra over here is being pretty distracted to me. Uh, 
Oh, it's exciting. Together, I see. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I get after all my hard work. And ammo, which I had to waste on that single instance. Well, <laughs> that up. All right, here we go. No worry, we hacked it. Yep, we got that good. All right, there's more boxes over there. I want those boxes. This is bad. We gotta get to the helicopter. You don't say, Leon. Really, Leon? Is that not what we've been doing? Or we're like mopping the floors? I mean, I thought we were just doing this for fun. <laughs> this is what I do. Asshole. As long as he's airborne, we're not going anywhere in that chopper. So I mean, here's a fun thing, which I literally just noticed this playthrough. I didn't really ever put it together till right now. Or oh, re really I put it together when we fought the Usanak with Jane not Watch that long out. ago. Huh. Now all the final bosses in Resident Evil 6 are thematic to Sorry, the elements. Usanak is fire, Chaos, which is the Chris's final boss, is water, and this is electricity. Well, have it. I just put that together right now. It was probably more obvious than I should have been. Yeah. Right now. I don't have to have little zombies running around during all this. There's actually a reason for them. I think it's about to show in just a moment. I got for stage space, so. I certainly hope so, because I ain't got nothing. Off I go. There we are. Freaking the zombies. Well, his legs are going down one by one. Hurrah! Hurrah! Here it is. Well. Of course, I got locked into a freaking zombie right after the cutscene. That's fair. Now then, I'm gonna pick up this electric spike oh, after I'm done meeting by a zombie. Give me a moment. There is an electric spike, and I need to impale some zombie with it. Preferably closer to him. Oh, I dropped it. Let me pick this up and find somebody to impale this giant spike with. Will you be my, uh, visitor? Here we go. Well. Got his lightning. His and legs are going freaking like, out. I know, I'm shooting off his legs with lightning hawk. Oh. I think they only hurt me a little bit. If only I had more ammo. If he kills one of the zombies right now, this should drop some ammo. Freaking T Rex to a giant chopper. fly. This floor is unstable. Right. Oh, <laughs> off I go. See you later, Leon. Ah, uh, that's okay. I'll be okay. Helicopter right ahead of us. Actually, there's some boxes over here. Yon. Oh, look, an RPG. 
Well, I'm going to use that for. Uh, who knows? But. Give me a moment! Jump it off a rooftop! Actually, there's no ladder here. Alright, I'll accept your sacrifice. <laughs> A helicopter and RPG. Hurry it up! You think that's Resident Evil? I think it's it might this be Resident Evil. Okay. Oh shit! That launch, launch attack. Yeah, the second time. Chopper. All right, let's get out of so here. So that's what that Grand Stadium was for. It all comes round and back. That's another cutscene. that prove Simmons' guilt. Which means it will prove your innocence. Our innocence. I don't need it. Lena. Good news, Leon. We found a way to defeat the virus. Copy that. We're on our way back. See you soon. Let's go. That explosion must have killed uh, Hunnigan's ears. Just <laughs> Leon, good news. <laughs> what the hell was that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Leon, it was nothing. Bye. Stayed up. <laughs> oh my. Well, that was Leon's campaign. So, of course, my first question is between Leon's, Jake's, and Chris's campaign, which one would you say is your favorite? Still Jake. Okay. I think that Leon's final boss is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> 
Yeah, that was a little bit. That was that was a little bit much. <laughs> I like I like the touch of the whole umbrella thing there at the end. That's uh, that's cute. That was cute Resident Evil. Yeah, he moved. The blood of Simmons in there. So we're gonna listen to Mazamoon sing now? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> No, I was singing for Mazamoon Miller. Oh, no, right. only Troy Baker gets to sing. Hmm. It's Who's kind that? of funny because he's like the most serious character. Why not? Saw how things work out. Well, that was interesting. And now, and now, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All that's left to say is campaign. I like how this sort of started like more of a Resi 4 feel for Leon, and then it just went over. It just went extreme. I know. It's like everybody else is being so extreme. This guy's got to catch up. He's got to catch up with the extremes. We're gonna put the biggest explosion in his. All right. The final chapter. <laughs> Leon's kind of like, oh, okay. Complete tone shift. What's that? Guys? Also, hey, that one was voiced by Laura Bailey. Yeah. Uh, that's a thing. That's a thing. A lot of uh, popular folks in this one. Yeah. That's a lot of popular folks in Dark Side Chronicles. Mmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, if when we were living together, Umbrella Chronicles and Dark Side Chronicles are going to be things. I'm just warning you. Oh, I would hope so. I've, I've always wanted to play them. Okay. So much Resident Evil. Yeah, a lot of them are co-op. There's more than just Resident Evil, but we are definitely getting done with our Resident Evil checklist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We now all have his Adas, and then that's done. With Revelations, we don't need to actually record it. I do want to play it with you, but it's different. The story mode is only single player, but there's a pretty fun raid mode thing. Let's co-op. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm liking the music for this. It's a mixture between some very hippy hot music and a remix of some of the Resident Evil 2 themes. Mm hmm. That's what's playing right now, is the remix part. Back to funky. Well, oh, man, so funky. Gotta get my funk on. Right? And now we got a nice oh, that's picture. Monster. Yep, a nice little picture of the Looks like monster. honeycombs. It's because it's not was, delicious. They just expel gas. That's what they do. A lot of people say it's a titty monster. I like to think of it as an SG monster. That too. Because all it does is let gas everywhere. It's pretty creepy looking. It's pretty creepy looking. It's one of the creepiest looking monsters in this game. I think my favorite monster, though, is the Regenerators, though. They're just cool. They're pretty they make cool pig too. noises. I like them too. I also, I like, also the like that you can throw their hands into random objects. I like that too. Also, I actually like their sections. I think my favorite is Chris's ship, though. Mmm. Yeah. I... There's one in Ada's campaign, too, though. As I'm sure you could probably guess. Yep. Yep, yep. Well, Ada should be interesting, because apparently she has very, very little to do with anybody, so... Yep, she is mostly off doing her own thing for most of it. Well, of course. It's just like separate ways all over again, except she uh... has this random add-on character for no reason. <laughs> That was an add-to later. It's Just for the sake of co-op. Yep, originally when Resident Evil 6 first released, Ada's campaign A was unlockable after you beat the other three characters' campaigns, and B was single-player only. But when they did this big update that fixed a few problems that people had, and also uh, added like hammer features and the ability to uh, turn off QTEs, they also added the ability to optionally do Ada's campaign with co-op, and Ada was just added as an add-on co-op thing. Yeah, well, it works out just for the sake of, you know, stuff. Da, da, da. I will say this before we go on to uh, Ada's campaign. Two things What's that I will that? mention. You know, all the campaigns have a little bit of a different tone for the most part, just a little bit. Ada's is yep. probably the biggest tone change, as you will see when we play it. Uh, her campaign has stealth segments where you can get caught that makes it incredibly difficult or you can try and sneak past through areas. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is that there's actually puzzles in her campaign. Oh man, puzzles. I know, right? I think there would be more in Leon's, but whatever. 
Rolls how it goes. This is how things work, I guess. People, co-op people don't want to do puzzles. I, I wish, puzzles. honestly speaking, uh, the puzzles, I'll let you solve them, but... Okay. Uh, I, I'll just, because I already know the solutions to them, I'll just say I both like and dislike them. They're not really super complicated, but they're very deceptive. That's what I'm just Are saying. every single one of them slide puzzles? No. <laughs> I'm happy they're not. I don't want to relive through Silent Hill Homecoming. But slide puzzles are so easy. I'm terrible. Ian, there are side <laughs> puzzles in Silent Hill Homecoming where there are whole sections of a board, weirdly shaped boards. And there's like this walk one where there's an area that you can't access, you have to go around it. It's like this weird shape. And then there's one where there's this out arc chain area, there's different shapes. It's fucking Silent Hill Homecoming slide puzzles. Sounds so good though. That means you should play a Silent Hill Homecoming. You got that for my birthday Probably. last year. Probably. I don't know. I'll, I'll play Silent Hill someday. It's on the list. Homecoming. There's a lot of things on my list. There's like 500 plus games on the list. So it's going to okay. take a while. I understand. You, me, think, look at me. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. I play a lot of games, but I still got a whole shit ton to play. Mm hmm. Especially mm -hmm. me now slowing down a lot because stuff, but soon, soon I'll pick up again. Probably, probably when I finally make it to Vancouver is when it's gonna be more recording heavy. I would probably be agreeing. We're also on the Resident Evil 6 main theme, so we know that we're coming towards the end of the credits. No, the credits are the same length every time, I'm sure, but for some reason this feels the longest because I have nothing to talk about. That's all right, we're at the end. I'm just enjoying the ongoing page though. Uh, let's see. For Leon's campaign, I kind of wish they had gone more of a horror tone than they did. According to them, they're going to be going to more horror tone for Resident Evil 7, but I will wait and see. I don't mind if they don't. I do enjoy the action-y, co-op-y Resident Evils, but... Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how Resident Evil 7 goes. They've been working on it. Apparently they started Resident Evil 7 a month after Resident Evil 6 came out. They haven't officially announced it, but it's been like leaked a bajillion times. They're definitely working on it. Yeah, they're 100% working on it, I'm sure. Yeah, there's no reason I'm interested. To... Can you believe that there's freaking the seventh game coming out? My god, this this series. You wanna know why? I don't know why? What's that? I out of Capcom's five top-selling games, four of them are Resident Evil games, and one of the top-selling games of all time is a Resident Evil game. Oh, of course. Yeah, there you go. If you put their top five all-time selling games, uh, their top-selling game of all time is actually Resident Evil 5. Surprise. Huh. Followed by... Uh, this one depends how you look at it. If you look at their charts, Resident Evil 4 isn't second. But that's because for some reason on Resident Evil 4 they include all the different versions separately, which they don't do for most entries. I don't know why they did it. But the GameCube, huh. PS2, Wii, and PC versions are all considered differently. But if you put them all together, it's the second top selling game. Followed by Street Fighter 2, followed by Resident Evil 2, and then I think the last one was the last one. Fuck, I forget. I think it was Resident Evil 3, but yeah. Rolls out. Well, there we go. Oh, wait, no, 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 it was Resident Evil, right, right, I remember now, it was Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil 4, Street Fighter 2, Resident Evil 6, and then Resident Evil 2. I don't know. Ah, thanks, Valve. Valve always on top of this. Valve did so much for this game. I've actually mentioned this before, last time I mentioned with the credits, and I think that Resident Evil 6 may be the video game with the longest, long-going story arc in video games. I think it's part of the reason why it's ridiculous at this point. Yeah. It has 17 game main canon entries, if you include all the spin-offs and all that. Can you think of another canon game with an ongoing story that has 17 canon entries? Nope. Yep, I think Resident Evil might be the longest. On to the ending scene.
take responsibility. Thank you. I'm ready. What? But I assisted in the attack. The Investigating Commission have reviewed the evidence and feel it unjust to hold you liable for Simmons' crime. They will also not be disclosing their findings to the public. But... The President would have done the same. All right. Shall we go join the team? Leon. For the next time you see her. Women. Better be dolled up the next time you see her, Leon. I think it's Gotta the put first on all time, that makeup. I, I think it's the first time we've seen Leon and Helena stand in the same area. You mean Hunnigan? Hunnigan. Uh, Leon and Helena. <laughs> Sorry. But yes, Hunnigan. I was about to mention it's kind of weird seeing her standing anywhere other than like behind a computer. <laughs> right. Turns out, she, some sort. turns out she isn't <laughs> just stay on the computer all day, I guess. She's not to, just a torso. She, <laughs> yeah, that one. She doesn't have a body. Well, that was Leon's finale. Coming up next, Ada's, Ada's. Ada's tire campaign. <laughs> yep. Ada's campaign's the shortest, though, again. We're not done yet. We're almost, though. I'd say we got another three to five hours to go. Oh, boy. Yo, hoy.